President Trump, accompanied by his daughter Ivanka, went to Delaware to honor the return of the remains of Navy SEAL Senior Chief Petty Officer William Ryan Owens, killed in that raid in Yemen, right after Mr. Trump took office. I just returned from an amazing visit with a, a great, great family at Dover, and it was something uh, uh, very sad, very beautiful. Ryan, a great man. Well, now, in an extraordinary rebuke to the Commander-in-Chief, the father of the Navy SEAL has spoken to the Miami Herald, telling the Herald that he refused to meet with President Trump that day. Bill Owens told the Miami newspaper he had concerns about the way the decision was made to launch that raid, which took the life of his son. Mr. Owens criticized the White House for calling the mission a success and says the government owes his son an investigation. Joining me now is Julie Brown, the Miami Herald reporter who got that exclusive interview. Julie, thank you very much for talking to us. Tell me about Bill Owens, the father's uh, concern, obviously grief-stricken father, but his decision uh, to demand answers from the president. You know, the, um, he, he has reviewed the timeline that the White House has put out on how that, uh, the decision was made and, and to some degree planned. And he has a lot of questions about that. Um, he points out that the president had been in office less than a week when this happened. Uh, he wonders whether uh, it was seriously examined. Again, even though it was vetted under the Obama administration, his point is that intelligence changes every day, and you have to have fresh intelligence. He, he suspects that this was rushed and that it, it wasn't adequately planned. He's, he's not saying that it was, but he suspects that it's possible. And he feels that, uh, that, that his son is owed um, the, you know, he, that his son deserves some kind of an, and he deserves some kind of an explanation on how the whole uh, operation played out. And there is automatically an investigation after, first of all, into the civilian deaths, the Pentagon tells us, the loss of uh, the, the uh, I think it was an Osprey, uh, which is a hugely expensive aircraft. Also, obviously, the death of his son. But does he some, want something more in addition to yeah. what is automatically done after yes, a tragedy he, such as this? Yes, I think that what particularly perturbed him was when Senator John McCain made a comment uh, about the uh, mission, and uh, shortly thereafter, Trump administration officials sort of, um, you know, criticized McCain and others, saying that making any kind of comments about the success of the raid would dishonor the memory of Ryan Owens. And his father feels just the opposite. In his view, that, um, that there should be an investigation. And in fact, he, he feels that by saying something like that, uh, the administration is trying to somehow sweep what happened under the rug by preventing people, including the media, uh, uh, from investigating what happened. And he, he ha you know, he wanted to say his piece. He wanted to say, we need a top to bottom investigation, not just a nuts and bolts review of, you know, who was where and, and where the troops were and where the, where the SEALs were, but also the events that led up to the decision. Um, where was the president when this was going down? I mean, we ha really haven't gotten any answers on that. We know at, at one point he had a dinner with some of his top security people, uh, but it's unclear where he was when it was actually happening. Uh, and he he'd like to know exactly who was there and, and you know what kind of review uh, did they do you know before this happened he also raises an interesting question that this was right when um, the president signed the travel ban and one of the countries that um, immigrants were prevented from from coming from was Yemen, and he did this the day before uh, the mission on the 27th. And um, Mr. Owens raises the possibility that maybe this had something to do with it, because we have friendly people in Yemen that are helping us, uh, translators, um, medical people, and it, it's possible, he said, that someone um, who was upset about this travel ban um, might have tipped off 
the uh, the wrong people about what happened. Th this raid was coming. I mean, he said he's not. Nobody really knows what happened, and that's the point. He he believes that there should be an independent investigation into uh, the time, the entire timeline. And we should point out that our own uh, sources are telling us that. What has happened since in Yemen it might make it more difficult to have a productive investigation, even the routine investigation, and that people from the Obama national security team have told us that they never signed off on this, that they had looked at it, but that they certainly handed it over as a work in progress, but it was never given a green light by the prior administration, which had initially been suggested by the White House, the Trump White House. Julie Brown, thank you very much, and we'll follow your reporting on this. Uh, I know Mr. Owens has not wanted to talk to anyone else. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.